Uh, beautiful souls, this is a <laughs> Togozani, Togozani as well. This is the um, a video that uh, you asked for, where you asked me to share uh, the different seasons according to the African calendar. I'm doing this uh, currently now because um, yeah, I'm just going to edit with the new moon uh, that we are in. That is actually, it is tomorrow and we've got the new moon in, um, in Libra, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to give you what have, you've asked. You go to okay, let me share. What are the different, uh, what are the different um, the zodiac signs, you know, in our African context? Okay. I'm going to start where our African year starts. Our African year starts on the 23rd of September. And that is the season that we call, that is according to the, the English or European version. It is the season of Aries. And then Tinage, we call it, that is the season of um, Uasa. And Uasa in our, in Zulu, I will use Zulu language, Zulu and Sotho. And those are the two languages that at the moment that I am also very fluent in. So Asa, it is also the, the, the what we call a um, 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 or the beginner, you know, the one that brings new um, re renewal energy that carries a new renewal energy of energy of, of rebirth. Then we go to the second zodiac sign or the second house in the zodiac sign, which is the house of Taurus. They say these are the people that are, that are born from the 23rd of October to the 22nd of November. And then in our um, African cosmology, uh, it is the season of Het Heru. And then the Het Heru then carries the, the energy of, um, um, she is the, the, the fertilizer, you know, the one that uses the energy of fertilization. And um, and then uh, 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 we the, the 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 other name with the Zulu name for her it is what we call um um and then uh, the Sotho name it's Matar, and then move there we go to the third house the third house okay yeah the third house is the people that are born um which is the season of Gemini and they born between the twenty third of uh November. Uh, to the 22nd of December. And then those are the people that are called Gemini. It is, it is Gemini, but we also, we call them Jehuti. Jehuti, it is the scribe. Jehuti is the one who carries the energy of communication. So she is a best communicator. So she uses scribing and just anything in communication. That's the energy that she carries, Jehuti. And then we call her Umlomogazi. And then we, in, in Susutu, she's called um, well. and then we move to the fourth house which is the house of cancer and that is the people that are born on the 23rd of december to the 22nd of january and those people are called uh, uh, the, the season it is in the african context uh, it is or the kemetic let me say kemetic context is uh, nebet head and Unevet Het, it is the, 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 the principle that carries the energy of protection. You know, she's the protector. And then Sutu Yo, now I'm forgetting the name. Ah, I'm forgetting the name now. I'll remember, I'll remember it anyway, it's fine. Then we go to the fifth house. After after the house of uh, Cancer, we go to the house of Leo, which is Uleo. It's the people that are born on the 23rd of January to the 22nd of February. And then that is the fifth house, which is the house of Leo, and which is Uheru. Heru, he, Heru is, the, is the earth child or the earth god, if I may call it that, in Kosan. In Kosazana, you know, in Sizulu also because we carry both the energies in Kosan and Kosazana or Hosana or Hosazan, you know, in the situ one. And then we move to the sixth house after a hero, then we move to the sixth house, which is Ugep. The gap is the season of um, um, Vego, 
yeah, season of Virgo, and those are the people that are born on the 23rd of February to the 22nd of March. Those are called Ugep. Ugep is Umhlaba. Obviously, that is the earthly god, the earthly father. Umhlaba, Umhlaba, that is, we're talking about the Lifats, you know, the actual earth that we are in. That is the sixth house. Then we move to the seventh house. Seventh house, we are talking about uh, the, 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 the Libra people. Though the Libra people are the people that are born 20, on the 23rd of uh, March to the 22nd of April. And it's the season of Oset. And Oset, what we call Unom Kubulwan, she carries the energy of, of, of um, it, yeah, like you going within, you know, meditations, your, 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 she's the, she's our cosmic mother. Let me just put it in the simpler context. What others call Then we move to the next season, which is the season of Scorpio. And then the season of Scorpio, it's people that are born on the 23rd of April to the 20, 23rd of April to the 22nd of May. And then that is the season of Anpu. Or Anpu, it is the one, it is the one that gives us the sound mind, what I call the discernment mind, the discernment eye, you know, the, 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 the clear vision or clear, the one that gives us clarity. Uh, that is uh, uh, in the sound mind. That is Anpu. And then uh, that is uh, in, in, in our Isisi Zulu city, Apigazi, and then in Yesutu Kimulibet. You know, the one that, yeah, the one that does that. Then, Besuguba, the next season after that, after the Scorpio season, we get onto the season of um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we are talking about uh, the season of people that are born on the 23rd of uh, May uh, to the 22nd of June. Yeah. 22nd, 23rd of May to the 22nd of June, and that is the season of Sahmet or Sahmet Bast, and that is the people that carries the energy of healing. Those are potent, potent, potent healers, and then, um, yeah, that's the energy that, that uh, uh, carries that, um, that, um, that cosmic principle carries. And uh, 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 is what we call in the Kuzanagutu. Uh, Mlapigazi and Mufodis. And then we go on to the, the 11th house. With the 11th house, then we are going to the, the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius are the people that are born from the 23rd of... Um, no, not the Sagittarius. Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn. Sorry, Capricorn. I've done the Sagittarius, sorry. The tenth house are the people that are born on the on the on the on the twenty third of uh, June to the twenty second of July. Twenty third of June to the twenty second of July, and those are the people uh, that are called Uset, the season of Set, the the fixator, the one that comes to destroy whatever it is that is not correct. Then that is that principle, and then we call that person. Or that principle, we call it umbili omosini. And then we move to the 11th house, which is the house of Aquarius. The house of Aquarius, it is the, 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 the season of, um, sorry, the house of Aquarius, it is the, um, a, what, what we're calling umaat, which is the people that are born on the 23rd of July to the 22nd of August. 23rd of July to the 22nd of August, that is the people that are called Umaat or that we are calling e -e 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 Aquarius. These are Aquarian people. And that what is Maat? Maat is the principle of justice and order, law and order. She carries the energy of uh, 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 um, the energy of um, justice and then Simbizage Umtetogazi or Mamulao. Then we move on to the last house, which is the house of Pisces, which is at the people that are born on the 23rd of August to the 22nd of September. 23rd of August to the 22nd of September, those are people are called Abu, eh, Abu Nut, called Nut, and then they are born, eh, they, eh, they, the star sign is actually 
um, the Pisces instead of yeah, it's Pisces. They are their star sign is Pisces, and then a uh, note it is what we call um petigas, the one that finishes off, the one that carries like cleanses off whatever it carries it carries the energy of purification. So it cleanses off whatever it is that you need to in order to prepare for the next season, you know. To prepare for the next season so that is what uh yeah just wanted to share i don't want to go very long on this video so that is the the zodiac signs according to the african um or kemet african cosmology because at times when you say a uh, kemet and then people uh, want to say it's not in africa whatever but yeah the kemet uh, ancient african cosmology those are the different um zodiac signs or the 12 houses and yeah the new moon, as I've said, the new moon is in Oset, and which is the season of Libra. Remember, Oset is our cosmic mother. So this is a time of us to go within. It is a calm time of us to do the introspection. It is time to, to meditate and get clarity on certain things that we are needing. That's it. Thank you, Baya.